what is up guys we are almost to my buddy Adam's place doing an intercooler install on his car this beautiful Monday morning sorry I didn't have a video out for you guys today Ooh, this might be it uh, nope, next one. Uh, yeah so right now I'm actually uh, on a little hiatus from my job I'm actually in between jobs I'm waiting if you guys ever gotten a government job, you'll know that it takes forever to get through the process. So I left my other job, which was really crappy. I was not getting along with management. I just scraped my car. Um, yeah, so I'm just literally working for myself until I start this other job. And actually finally get me a GS position job until we move out of Virginia. But uh, I want to show you guys a little bit on this car. I don't... I think I might have done a Mishimoto intercooler install before. I'm pretty sure I did one. But if I haven't, it's been a while. But his car, Adam's car, is one of the Spectrum cars. It's a, a green Golf R and is absolutely gorgeous. So we're getting a couple clips while we're working on this bad boy today. And uh, yeah, we might have some uh, OBD-11 stuff because he's got the Porsche McCann uh, upgrade. So he needs to do some... Uh, some changes with the straight ahead brake stabilization and <clears throat> I think some other some other change so get a couple clips while we're doing this today maybe I uh, get some pools on the way home or something just to just have a video out this week I did order my intercooler last week um, but it's not even made yet so it'll be a couple weeks so the DBV2 intercooler and the charge and throttle pipes for that show up but super excited for that I need to talk to my powder coat guy see if he can get me the uh, forget exactly what it's called. So it's like black magic, something other Cerakote. It's like the only Cerakote they had that really helps dissipate heat rather than keep heat in, which is, uh, yeah, it's gonna be sick, so. All right, look at this. What a gorgeous color. It's a manual car too. Man, been a while since I've seen it. Beautiful, just gorgeous. Wow. Makes me kind of miss my R. It's a 7.5. I love the front ends on these. Beautiful. All right. Well, he's got race ramps and everything, so we're just going to hop right to it. It has been so long since I sat in a golf R. I really like that gauge. It's a sick gauge, Adam. Wow. Giving me memories. It's been so long with that manual. We've been out to Wookiees a few times. Man, I'll have to find some. Oh, look at the green. Got the green in the steering wheel. I like the touches, man. I like it a lot. Gorgeous. Don't think I've seen an engine bay this clean in a long time. Holy moly. You could eat off this thing. Here's the Mishimoto. I don't think I've done one of these before, unless this is like an optional color. I wonder if it's some type of coating. I don't know, but this, this is a nice unit. Even the brackets are paint matched that color. Really nice. It's got the flap there. I like it. All right, we got the headlights taped up so that the bumper wouldn't rub. And this one was actually really easy because there was no headlight washers, no ACC sensor, only the one power going to it for, I don't even know what. What was our power going to the bumper for? What was this? Oh, for the parking sensors, but not like the, the big sensor down here. It's in the grill on this one. So I made this real easy. Didn't have to deal with losing washer fluid or anything. I even brought an extra cap to cap off the... Uh, the washer fluid because that usually pisses everywhere so so far it's going super smooth this might be like my number 10 or close to number 10 mqb intercooler install if anyone ever says you gotta drain the radiator you don't i just vacuumed it out real nice full of bugs but uh come over here to look at this look at that size difference <laughs> holy toledo and yeah, maybe Maybe twice the size, honestly. Let's see here, let's pull up this, the hammer. Goes to there. Yeah, yeah, buddy. 
Yeah, that's about uh, <laughs> about twice the size. That's crazy. It's a nice unit. I really like the color. So it's always interesting to see how different manufacturers um, do their intercooler bracketry. So what's neat here for the AC condenser, you got this, these three millimeter Allens to help keep the AC condenser in place. Since the OEM one, you can kind of see over there, it has those clips to keep it in place. So now it has these Allen keys right there. And now with these top um, pieces for the radiator, they go up and down and left to right. So you can uh, line these babies up real nice like. Hopefully it clicks right in. So far, uh, I've done a ton of these, like AMS, APR, uh, ARM, I think, or the Majesty, whatever it's called. I've done Do88, now Mishimoto. I've done, what else? Racing Line, did I say that? There was another one. Uh, dang, Wagner, I've done Wagner. And then the... Uh, the one I disliked the most was uh, Revo. Revo was not ideal whatsoever, but uh, this Mishimoto seems nice. I'll let you guys know what I think about uh, the bracketry installation here shortly. Well, guys, I've got to say, this is one of the uh, definitely better intercooler installs. Uh, these brackets snapped right into place. It was pretty freaking tight getting this in down here. Um, the front of the radiator like this piece right here but at the bottom wanted to hit the radiator um, before this clip wanted to be all the way but as you can see here they kind of notched it to help it slide in so just a little baby tap of the hammer and it and it fell right into place so that's that's nice i give this a 10 out of 10. mishimoto you did a great job really like it love the color i wonder if that is some type of uh like thermal coating sick unit for a sick car if you guys didn't uh those here it is a manual car so manual spectrum it's sick with the bbs uh, i meant to take some video while i was driving it earlier but uh there she is looking good intercooler install it was probably one of my my all-time personal best times of getting it done i wasn't even in a rush just a good old time. He's happy. I'm happy. It was a good day. Such a beautiful car. We're back the next day with a nice dirty car. She's always pretty even when she's dirty. We're going to get up under this thing. When I did my trans service, I meant to do a uh, get up under there. I lube the suspension like every other month with some, some nice silicone and do my, uh, my rear sway bar, Zerg fittings every... I don't know, every quarter or, quarter or so. So we are going to get that done, give it a once over under the car while we're here. And then uh, Hunter is gonna be here shortly with his GTI. We're gonna adjust his coilovers and play with his... Dang thing cut me off. And play with his, uh, his level sensors for his headlights are not, um, they're not level. So we might have to bend them up a little bit like we did on this car a while back happens sometimes so we'll get my car in here and look it around a little bit and then uh pop this all right boy she's all up on the lift looking like she's ready to go out in some dirt oh yeah brother pop this beautiful hood look at all my dirtiness she's looking lovely i really want to get if i remember here i'll post up a picture iros came out with a AYRS3, it's like a dam that goes like around and back. Nice black, the way it'll cover up all this, this ugly, and it'll make this intake pop a little bit more. Really wanna get that, but let's get this car up. Check out what's going on underneath here. I'm just loving this rear end. God dang, can't tell me that I don't look good, Bo, besides the, the key events, but hopefully this summer we can remedy that a little bit more. All right, so there's a couple rust spots, but that's uh, 
no news there. We had that one was loose. This one was loose. I went and moved up all my my thingies here. Everything else is looking good. I had to remark some of my my markings starting to wear off. But I lubed everything up. Everything back up front was good, pretty much, except for those two loose things. My downpipe clamp was super loose, so we tightened that up a whole bunch. Now, hopefully, I won't smell exhaust anymore. I didn't even realize it was leaking. I thought it was just the smell I was getting was coming from the back, but you can see if it would focus. You can see where there was definitely exhaust leaking from there. Back here, didn't find anything loose. Lubed everything up, tried to wipe some things down. I've had this, this bar for forever. Things are getting hit, little rust spots here and there, nothing major. It's kind of yucky all up in there and keeps spraying silicone on everything, but that'll keep it from rusting, so I ain't, I ain't too upset about it. End links are garbage. They need to go in the trash. They are well past their, their life, front and rear, need to, to be swapped out for sure. But uh, other than that, things look pretty good under here. I'm happy. We're gonna get this thing down, get this car in, adjust some ride height, play with some level sensors. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, she's low. Right, bring that bad boy right on up. You're looking good. Fish. That that ride height said perfect. Went for a little drive. Still got a light on. I think it's for these front sensors. So we got to play around in OBD 11 and get them even, but it's nice. Rides like a dream. Yeah. You can, it's funny, me, because I just drove it back over here. And you can feel how much lighter this car is over the S3. It's really wild. You can just feel how, how tossable the GTI is. It's interesting.